What's up, everybody? My Vernon Kid here, coming to you again. Welcome back to characters. Why I like them. Uh, hope you enjoyed the two characters I sent, gave to you last week. This week, on um, perhaps, as you can see right here, I'm bringing you another video game character that I love, and that's the one, the only Ryu Hayabusa. Yeah, from the Ninja Gaiden series. Also. Uh, very well playable character in the DOA that are live game series. Okay, Ryu Ayabusa, as everybody should know, is the main protagonist of the Ninja Gaiden games. Ryu, uh, r literally, his Ryu. Let me let me explain a little bit of his name. Okay, Ryu actually means dragon literally means dragon while Hayabusa means falcon so <laughs> it's kinda cool right dragon falcon anyway <laughs> he's the the leader of the dragon ninja clan and Ryu his clan has spiritual and physical ties magical ties to an ancient dragon ancient dragons uh, he's also the holder of the legendary dragon sword Okay, and the thing about Ryu, the first game of Ninja Gaiden came out in 1988. Ryu is, so the game is not that old, it's maybe in its late 20s, early 20s, but Ryu is just so brave, so, he's just so full of vigor and valor. This guy looks evil in the eye and spits in it. He literally will take on these fierce demons without a quiver and and come out victorious. Okay, the one thing about him that sets him apart from other fictional ninjas, for example, Sega's Resident Ninja uh, Joe Musagi from the Shinobi series is Ryu, he's really big. This guy is really, really, really muscular compared to the other ninjas. If you look at it, many other ninjas, ninjas, they're mostly what trimmed and, and physically fit, but Ryu is just cut and big, and but he's so quick and I find that so crazy sometimes just to just to <laughs> sometimes but uh, uh, Ryu also is just one hell of a ninja he is perhaps many video game magazines and pretty much have critically acclaimed him the best ninja in video games and you know what I gotta agree with them on some part. Yeah, I have to agree with them. Uh, the one thing that also Ryu is is the fact that he may appear to be just a a human man, but he is not completely human. Okay, that's that's one thing. Uh, He's not completely human. Um, his best friend is is Hayate from uh, from from the DOA series. He also has allies from Katsumi and Ayana, Ayani. Uh, all these people are ninjas. Uh, the funniest thing is that him and Jan Lee from DOA share mutual respect for each other though they'll never really admit it but yeah they they kind of show uh, Ryu has a couple of names that uh, many people know him like for example uh, he's he's known as the dragon ninja and he's also known as the S super ninja uh, 
and he's all he's always helping that's one thing he doesn't shy away from helping people the CIA in the video games know about his clan and their abilities and their history um, but Ryu as has survived the test of time in the video game history and has always revamped them. Re, they've always been able to revamp Ryu, but always make him enjoyable to us, the fans. Uh, whether you take the first game that came out in 1988 until and and now, you know, they've revamped him. Always revamped him. Always revamped him. And that's just something that you gotta love about Ryu. He he is just one of those characters you love to have as a as a ally, but hate to have as an enemy. Because let's face it, the fiends, the demons as they call them, you don't want to be around them. You don't want to be them when Ryu's coming. You know, I think Ryu also serves a purpose. And, my, and particularly for me, he serves a purpose of the fact that he 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 throws that stereotype of a ninja out and for him. For example, you know, that stereotype of being that they're only spies, assassins, and thieves. They have no code of honor or something like that. Ryu has, he's totally different from that. You know, here's a guy that will help the smaller people, the, the lower class people, no matter what. Not without even questioning his, okay, should I, or should I not? You know, he'll, he'll do it. Uh, as for his gamings, he'll be back, actually. Uh, Ryu... Uh, will be back in Ninja Gaiden 3, which was announced. Uh, we've seen teaser trailers of it. If you haven't seen it, you go places like IGN and probably here on YouTube right now, you can see a little teaser trailer of Ninja Gaiden 3. Uh, from what I hear, uh, this game is supposed to really showcase more of Ryu's more human side. So we get to see him more human because kind of Ryu is kind of quiet he doesn't really talk too much he lets his actions talk for him and so we get to see this in this game series um, now in terms of if some people have always said man I wish they did a video a movie for this once again no I'll say clearly right now I would not want a video game. I wouldn't want a movie of this unless they do it something like Ninja Assassin mixed with, I guess you could say, any kind of supernatural, you know, unless they do it right. They have to do it right. But right now, I'm satisfied with just seeing Ryu on the small screen in the gaming world doing his thing never shying away from a fight come when the demons the fiends the demons come out he's there he's he's the first and last defense that you'll need uh, that's something that I've always loved about Ryu he's just so badass he's so cool I love his 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 outfit you know like I said he it's always funny the fact that when you, you do your research or you, you get more into the characters that you love, you learn more about them. And, you know, that's that's the thing about Ryu. You, you, he, you always want to know more about him. And the fact that he is such a powerful ninja at heart, I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. 
But what do you guys think of Ryu Hayabusa? Do you love him? Do you agree with what the critics say about him? He's the best fictional ninja in video games today, in the past? Or do you feel there's someone else better than him? But uh, once again, guys, this is Malvern and Kid bringing you another edition of characters of why I like them. Stay tuned because I'm bringing you another character. This time from he was created by the late great Dwayne McDuffie. So stay tuned.